Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Garibaldi for Tuesday's science lesson. And so we are going to be going in to a new unit um, for science and we're going to be learning about animals, which is my favorite. I've waited all year <laughs> for this unit and now it's here and I'm so excited. So today we're going to be working in our math book or math book and our science book. And so you will need your science book and you will need it turned to page 31. All right, and while you get your science book and a pencil or a crayon, I am gonna share my screen with you so you can see what page 31 is today. Here we go. And let's see, I think I'm gonna be using some crayons today. So we're on page 31. Ooh, let me go ahead and erase. This is our number for our math from earlier. Alrighty, so here is our science for today. You're on page 31 and take a look. It says at the top the title or the heading of this page is many animals and there are so many different animals and they're all amazing. I have a few friends behind me that are covered in feathers just like this parrot but some other animals have instead fur and other animals have scales. And so we're going to be not only talking about the different coverings that animals have in this unit, but we're going to be talking about the different types of animals that there are. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's turn the page to page 32. And on page 32, you're going to see, you're going to see some things that you might see in your own backyard. And then some things that I don't think you would see in your backyard. <laughs> So take a look. First on this, you'll see a blue jay. I get blue jays on my bird feeders in the backyard. So you might see these guys in your yard too. Ladybugs. And we learned a lot about ladybugs, didn't we? And so you might see these guys in your yard as well. And then this guy is an elephant, of course. And I don't know if any of you have elephants in your backyard. If you do, send me a picture. <laughs> I would love to see that. So let's go ahead and read about these different types of animals. Animals have different shapes and sizes. Some animals have bright colors. Which of these animals have bright colors? The ladybug and also the blue jay too because that blue color is really unique and pretty. There's not a lot of animals that are blue. That is really beautiful. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and turn the page. Oh, and let's read. We know a lot about frogs, too, because we did our frog research. Let's go ahead and read this page. So this is a koala. So cute. A frog, and we know that that's called a red-eyed tree frog because we did our frog research. And this is a spider. So let's read about these animals. Many animals have a head and eyes. Some animals have two legs. Some animals have many legs. Wow. Hey, we have two legs and we're animals. So I think they're talking about us. This frog has how many legs? We know this because we did some research on them. Four, you're right, frogs have four legs. How many legs do spiders have? Yeah, eight legs. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. So that's one of the animals that has many legs. Now, the directions for this draw is draw the head and eyes of an animal. Okay, I think I can do that. Can you do that? Perfect. All right, so I want you to go ahead and get your crayons out, and I want you to draw a picture of an animal's head and eyes, and I want to draw a picture of an animal's head and eyes, too. Okay, let's go.
<laughs> Maybe I'll give him some little tufts of hair on his ears, like a lynx or something. And let's see, I'm going to get another color. So I'm going to color in the eyes. This cat's going to have green eyes. And maybe I'll make this cat, let's see what color do I have in here? Hmm. I was looking for a peachy color, but I guess I'll have to go with gray. So I don't see another, I don't see the peach. I must have misplaced them. So you're going to draw the head and eyes of an animal. And it didn't tell you what animal to draw, did it? You could have drawn a fish, right? You could have drawn a bunny or a dog or an animal. So I can't wait to see what you chose to draw. All right, so if you're not done drawing your animal's um, head and eyes, I want you to pause the video, but if you are ready, let's turn the page. Let's go to page 34. Let me zoom out some. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to read the sentence first. Animals move in different ways. So let's see the different ways that animals move. Some animals swim. Yeah, good reading. Some animals walk and run. Some animals crawl. I might also say that this particular animal slithers. <laughs> I like that word, slithers. And so snakes usually slither. That's a really pretty snake. My niece would know what kind of snake that was. I think that could be maybe a rat snake. I'm not sure. Aubrey, if you're watching, help me out. What kind of snake is this? All right, so this particular animal crawls. This animal hops. Yeah, so animals move in all different kinds of ways. What way do we move? We can actually move in all of those different ways, can't we? We can swim, we can walk and run, we can crawl, I know some babies crawl, and we can even hop, like when we hopscotch. Nice. All right, let's turn the page to page 35 and let's see what they want us to do next. So, this animal flies. Now that's something that we really can't do, huh? We can't fly. So which animal hops? So which animal did the author, author say hops? The bunny. Which animal swims? The fish. What animal, or which, sorry, which animal walks and runs? Yeah, the little lamb. Nice. So now it says on this page, draw an animal that flies. So we've got to get our crayons. And so I want you to think of an animal that flies. And I will think of an animal that flies as well. And you know what I just realized? I have some behind me that I could draw. Cool. Let's see if maybe I could, I'm, I might do my very best. Maybe I'll try to draw a picture of one of those guys. So we'll draw his head. And looks like he's got a wing here. <laughs> and then maybe some feet. He's got some claws. Doop, doop, doop. There you go on his little stick. And let's see, he has an eye over here that goes like that. And then he's got a nice big beak. And his beak kind of goes like that. And then his wing kind of goes like this. And then it looks like he's got some coloration here and maybe I'll draw a little bit of an eye over here too. And it looks like he's got another wing coming up over here. Okay, so then I'll have to do some shading for him. Let's see, his eye is white there. Okay. 
get in some feathery look. What color was his beak there? He has some green happening here on his legs. And his wing was green. And then his body was yellow. And it looks like he has a red beak. I love that bright red beak he's got. Perfect. All right, so there's my bird. I did my best. I'm not the greatest artist, but I always try my best and that's all you can ever ask, right? And then maybe, let's see, I draw a little bit of the tree over here, like he's up in the tree up high. Let me give him some little leaves on his branch too. Okay, there's my bird. <laughs> Birds that fly. All right, so if you're not done with your drawing of an animal that flies, pause the video. But if you are done, let's turn the page. We're going to go to page 36. All right, and we're going to sum it up today. So this is going to be the page that you're going to turn in on Edsby, so you'll snap a picture of this. If you also want to snap some pictures of the really amazing artwork you did, and you can submit that too, it will let you turn in however many um, pictures that you want under each assignment, okay? So you can upload the pictures of your drawings today too if you um, want to, but this is the page that I will be checking for, um, for completion, okay? So let's take a look. This is called Sum It Up, and you'll notice that instead of numbers, the science book is using like shapes, okay? And so I'm not really sure why they did that, but that's what they chose to do. So for this first line here, the directions are to circle the animal that has fur. So on this line, which one of these animals has fur? And you're gonna circle that animal. For this row, the directions say to circle the animal that swims. So which one of these animals swims? And for this row, it says circle the animal that flies. So which one of these animals flies? And when you're done, you'll snap a picture and you'll upload it to today's science lesson on Etsy, okay friends? So I hope you enjoyed this science lesson. I can't wait to dig deeper into the unit on animals for our science. And I wish you well. I love you. I miss you. And I hope to see you at tomorrow's live lesson. Have an awesome Tuesday. We'll see you later. Goodbye.